Now, the political impasse in the All Progressives Congress in Edo State seems to be returning as the governorship polls draw nearer. It will be recalled that since the emergence of Mande Okpobolo, Okpobolo excuse me, as the party's governorship candidate in Edo State, members of the party are constantly having mixed feelings concerning the polls. Just recently, the Edo State Vice Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Francis Inebeniki, resigned his membership of the party. Inek Baniki's resignation is contained in a letter dated June 8, 2024, addressed to the ward chairman of Opobiji Eson Central Local Government. Joining us now is Prince Emmanuel Odigi, a former commissioner and a leader of the All Progressive Congress in Edo State. Good morning, sir, and welcome to the program. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for joining us. The uh, gubernatorial election is not so good far morning, away. Good morning, Dr. Abati. Yes, good to have you. Thank you. The elections are not so far away. And your party, the uh, APC in Edo State, uh, seems to be divided. It's not been able to come together to have a common front. Uh, what exactly, you know, are the fault lines? And uh, surprisingly, your party, the APC, is uh, blaming the governor, uh, Governor Obaseki. How does he have a hand in the crisis within your party? I thought that the concentration should be in organizing the APC at the Edo state level rather than dragging uh, Governor Obaseki's name into the matter. If you may just uh, assist us with clarifications. Thank you very much, Dr. Abati. You know, Edo, it's not just the APC. It is the entire, um, the three major political parties in Edo. The APC, the PDP, and of course the Labour Party. You know, um, the resignation, let me even begin with the resignation of the, of the State Vice Chairman, Chief Inibineki. You know, it's a huge blow in APC. Being the highest uh, political office holder, from the central, where Mondio Pueblo comes from. He's from his local government. I personally had conversations with him on why he resigned from the party. You know, APC has never been so fractionized. There are several camps in APC. It's not just in APC, PDP and Labour Party as well. And Dr. Abati, I will tell you, there is a problem that I think we Nigerians must solve. And the National Assembly must do something urgently to save our democracy. Because Dr. Ruben Abati, dividends of democracy, the good governance, the foundation, the bedrock of good governance is the process in selecting our leaders. You know, Dr. Abati, it will amaze you to know that to employ a teller in a bank, even as small as a small community bank, you write an aptitude test, you do oral interview, and you are given probation of three months or six months. If you are not able to perform, you are removed. But the process of selecting a leader, a governor, that will determine what happens to millions of people, you know, the process is so... It's full of sham. You know, a situation where few people in Abuja who may not necessarily be from a state determines who gets the ticket of the party. You know, there, there's no way we can ever get it right. There's no way we can achieve good governance if the process of electing a leader is not revisited. You know, the primaries that took place in Edo was a disgrace, in my opinion, and in the opinion of so many other people. You know, APC has never been so divided. There are different groups. There are those that call themselves the integrity group, who have said they will make a statement soon to disassociate themselves from the present candidate. There are some that said, oh, we do not believe in a candidate, but because we believe in President Asiwaju's hope, renewed hope agenda, they will stay and will not vote for the candidate. There are some that have said, oh, on Agia, no, this one will let us use, that are ready to campaign and work for the candidate. 
And there are some that said, we'll just sit down and they look. You know, APC have never been so divided. You know, you cannot see any of the, the, the opponents, you know, those who were interested in the, in the race, coming together to campaign for the, for the candidate. And Edo people have not seen the candidates coming out to speak to Edo people, to come to arise, to discuss issues, have his plans for Edo people. You know, there's so much division. And it's not just only in APC, even in the Labour Party. Even in the Labour Party, it is worse. Because the obedient movement, a vast majority of them has declared support for Aswe Godalo, like we can see on social media and everywhere, and those we have interacted with. And uh, the 35 percent are saying, "Look, we are waiting for Obi to tell us what to do." That the position Obi takes in Edo will determine his political future, because the ideology that formed the obedience is fairness, equity, and justice for the sake of inclusion. The Southeast has never been president. Let them support the Southeast. That was how they were able to galvanize vote for Obi, and won election in Edo State and elsewhere. Based on that principle, but today the Labour Party have a candidate who is from the same local government as the present governor, who has been there for eight years, and who is also a relative, like we heard, I don't know if it's true, of the present governor. Will Obi now, Jefferson, put aside the ideology that formed the obedience and say party is supreme and come and campaign for the Labour Party Oludi? Nigerians are watching, Edo people are waiting. The 30% obedience left waiting for his directives and killing watching to see what Obi will do. Will Obi tell the obedience, go and vote your conscience? Will he tell them party is supreme? Will Obi abide by the principle, the ideology that formed the obedient movement? Okay, 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 President. In the PDP, All right. Dr. So let's bring the conversation back to the APC. Uh, because uh, you spoke about yes. the divisions within the party, the various factions. But you also spoke about good governance and the dividends of democracy. Now, given the current state of the nation, usually when you hold power at the center, it's supposed to be an advantage for you when you go to your governorship election. However, you look at the current state of the nation and the picture that you've painted is almost as though you're giving us a disclaimer about what we should expect on the 21st of September with regards to APC's performance. The situation, the national situation under an APC government, how do you think this will contribute to the election? Um, it is not gain saying. We all know that um, President Bola Ahmed Tunubu just came on board. And what is happening today is not his making. And I'm sure Nigeria would have long died, you know, gone down beyond where it is today. Would have been Venezuela, if not for the courageous leadership of President Bola Ahmed Tunubu. But are Edo people happy? The answer is no. With the federal government, the answer is no. They are not. The cost of living is high. That's true. Fuel is selling for 850. That is true. The exchange rate is not helping matters. That is true. But coming to the states, are the workers happy with the 70,000 minimum wage of Godino Baseki? They are. Are the teachers happy with the 80% increment? They are. You understand? And so APC have a lot of work to do. You know, and I, that's why we all, the, the bedrock, the foundation of this problem is the lack of internal democracy. You know, if there is no internal democracy, we can never achieve good governance. Prince There's Emmanuel, no it almost sounds like you're the also just preparing the ground to leadership. jump ship from APC. Uh, no, I am one of the integrity group that have said I do not think, in my candid opinion, as a frontliner who fought for fairness, equity, and justice, Edo agenda, for sense of inclusion, for Edo Central to be supported, to be governor. I did not engage an appeal to Edo South and Edo North to support Central to produce a candidate 
uh, that the National Working Committee of APC will impose on Edo people. I wanted a level playing field for the best candidates in Edo and let the leadership, the membership of APC vote the best. You know, but since there was no internal democracy, I'm sure Arise News knew what happened during the primaries. And while you are seeing some people still galvanizing around the candidate, is they are, they are doing that in expectation of federal appointment or, or patronage, federal government, you know. And vast majority are not really candidates. You are going to see more people leaving the party. You are going to see people remain in the party than working against the party. I am a foundation member of APC. And I was the deputy DG of the Presidential Campaign Council. I am in touch with the 192 wards in Edo and the 18 local government. We know what is happening across party line. You know, oh, it's unfortunate, okay. you know, that when an APC member says, vote for the most credible, and they will say, oh, you are against APC. Okay. Vote for the most credible candidate is against APC. Okay. It's like they've accepted that the candidate is not credible. Okay. So, uh, what I want to say is, every party have their scoreboard. You were just only mentioning APC and Labour oh, Party. Oh, the Great Trophy. Good morning. Good morning. And APC and Labour Party scoreboard. In fact, the PDP have, have theirs. You know, Dan Obi has still been at Lega Heads and yes. his group. I will address that. And, and, uh, and Obaseki. But it looks as if Obaseki has the upper hand because of the power of his incumbency and all of that. As we speak today, if Obaseki no, offers no. you a deal, yes. would you take it? Secondly, what are you already uh, doing to make uh, Aswe Gudalo emerge? The Great Rufai. The Great Rufai. Yeah. The Great Rufai. Yes. I am a realist. I'm a firm believer of Asiwa Jubola Amen Tunubu. And I also fought to ensure power return to central. Power rotation. Fairness equity is key for me. And I will tell you without missing words that this election is about the candidacy, the candidate's capacity. Whether we like it or not, Aswe Gudalo stands out. He stands tall. So you Aswe know, Gudalo is your man, right? He's your man in this election. Aswe Gudalo, let me, let me tell you. It's your man in this election, isn't he? Man. Isn't he your man? He's, he's everybody's man. He's my man. Okay. He's my man. Because I want a better Edo. I want a better Nigeria. And I have, I have, I have, Olumide Akwata is not bad. But the fact that Edo South, his local government have been governor for eight years, we cannot afford to continue in that. That was why what brought PDP down when we okay, okay, left okay, PDP Okay, the, ne the next party. question, sir. The next question Fairness. is... We, and I will tell you, question, let me quickly the, say the this. Next question, let me quickly okay, answer you. Say it before I no, answer. Dr. Rufai. Yeah. Uh, great Rufai. Great Rufai. I will tell you that... The uh, legacy PDP that are running to APC to work. See, they don't control the people. Okay. A two electorate are too sophisticated to be won by any political leader. Okay. You know, okay. and they, they laugh at them because there are those in PDP. Uh, they, by now, I for one would have expected Chief Dan Obi to resign his membership from PDP and join the APC honorably. Okay. Join the APC honorably because you are, you are in APC, you are working for APC. You know, you cannot be South South uh, Vice Chairman PDP and you are, you are telling people go and work for okay. the most incompetent okay. candidates. Okay. Does it mean well for Edo people? Okay. okay, can I also say this? Will you also, as you are telling Danobi, to resign from the PDP and join the APC because you're already working for the APC, would you also resign from the APC I just join the PDP? Because you're already campaigning by, for by the way. time By the time the integrity group has agreed, I am ready to resign. From the APC. Because I will tell you the truth, uh, Great Rufai. Edo, Edo cannot afford. Edo Central, where I'm from, has produced two professors as governors. We must present our best to Edo people. And the best from Edo Central amongst the two is Aswe Godalo. I'm telling you, okay, verify okay, the antecedent. Okay, okay, okay. The next the question Okwebolo is... has no verifiable okay, antecedent. Can, can you tell me the other things you've been doing to prop up Aswe Gudalo as we speak, apart from coming on a rise today? What are the other things you've been doing underground? What we have been doing, there are this integrity group in APC. If I call their names, 
the great Rufai, you'll be amazed and shocked. Please call their name. The powers that be in APC, those that determines, those that determines what happened in the party, have taken a position that they cannot okay. afford uh, to present a Monday Pemolo who Prince does Odige. not know the difference between a zoo and a museum. Prince Odige, I mean, you talked about lack a of man, internal yes, democracy please. in the APC. Are you saying yes. invariably that the yes. APC Edo State has already conceded defeat ahead of the September 21 election it, see, due to the lack of internal democracy? That's uh, one. Second, the last time you were see, on this program... It will be difficult to... F Hello? Yes. Can you hear me? The last time you were on this program... Hello, Dr. Rufai. Yes. Hey, Dr. No, Abati. Dr. Abati. The yes. last time you were on this program, I think that was in February or so, on yes, the morning please. show. Now, you were yes. blaming yes. Uh, Senator Adam Sushomale. And at that time, Adam I Sushomale. recall that yes. Senator Adam Sushomale, you accused him of supporting uh, Idausa. But at the end of the day, uh, yes. it's, it's not the Daosa that he made. Are you still blaming uh, Senator Shomole, or you just want to, uh, you know, uh, say that well, uh, you've uh, seen, uh, uh, you know, the matter in a different light? I, I would say I would, I would, if I, I was going to put a call across to my in-law, my leader, Adams uh, Oshomole, to apologize to him. Because, you know, he's in the Senate with Senator Mondi Okpemolo. He knows Okpemolo more than most of us. Should I go ahead? Please go ahead. He yes. knows Senator Okpemolo more than most of us. He's his colleague. For him to come out vehemently and refuse with everything, you could see he was fast to his spirit that this man cannot get a PC ticket. And I was like... Why is Comrade so interested? But now, it is clearer to me that Comrade has since identified Okpemolo's incompetence. That was why he was vehement against his emergence. And I apologize to him that if he had supported another candidate, a viable candidate from Central, which I thought was, you know, it was time for Edo Central to produce the next governor, you know, it would have been better. But I felt it was not being fair to him. And those central people. But now I understand better. Having investigated, you know, interrogated uh, Mondeo Pebolo's antecedent, his pedigree. You know, he is an artisan, a, a panabita ahead, who became hey, a hey, housekeeper hey, to hey, Chief Anemi. Prince, Prince. And later Prince, sell computers Prince. in uh, Prince, please. In, no, uh, no, in no, don't attack his person. Yeah. Don't, please, don't attack his person. Let I'm not know. attacking his person. Uh, I'm just talking about his past, his pedigree. Uh, but, his yeah. pedigree. Yeah, you're saying Panebita. I'm not attacking his you person. Panebita is also I'm a honorable man. I won't do that. Yeah. But the, to the other question. Exactly. I agree to do, that. Do you yes. assume yeah. that uh, already APC has uh, lost that election? Your own choice. Uh, there is regardless. no way on it. Uh, do APC would win the election. Because those in APC that are not ready to leave are more than those who said they cannot even campaign for Monday. If the number one man in Edo Central, he introduced me to Senator Monday Opebulu, first time, said to me, Prince Odigye, I am the Uzoya of Esan Land. I cannot afford to deceive Esan people. My conscience and my love for my people will not allow me to sell a bad product to Esan people and Edo people. Instead of me to remain in APC as vice chairman, I better resign my membership of APC and continue to support Asiwaju outside APC. And some have said they will leave, some have said they will work with him and ensure they vote for the most competent candidates. Whether I would remain in APC or not, but my support is for the most competent. My vote is for the most competent. I will continue to support Asiwaju's Renewed Hope Agenda. And I also think that Asiwaju as president wants a better Edo. And Asiwaju would also know what Anaswe Godalu can bring to the Federal Executive Council that will enhance his government than what a Mondeo Pueblo whose incompetence has been identified, even earlier identified by our leader, Senator Adam Sushomole. Now the entire leadership of APC has identified his gross incompetence 
And so some that said, oh, nah, yeah, no, this will let us use, they are going with him. Those that said, no, we will remain the party and vote for competence, they are there. You know? And those that said, we would be there and just watch, they are there. Some are seeking their personal interests, waiting for federal appointments and federal contracts, and said, look, we cannot support a mediocrity over a meritocracy. They are there. APC is paralyzed. Paralyzed. It's sad. If there was internal democracy, if the National Working Committee of the APC has allowed the people of Edo, the APC leadership, to determine who gets the ticket, APC won't be in such a mess. You will not have a vice chairman from the same zone, the same local government as a candidate, resigning from the party. In Ebenezer exit, it's a big loss to APC. A huge one. A huge one. And many are ready to follow. Many are ready to follow. A lot of people are not ready to stick their integrity for partisan politics. We want a better Nigeria. We want a better Edo. You know, most of us think uh, Senator Pueblo does not have the mental capacity to lead a state like Edo. He cannot handle the balance sheet of Edo. Where has he worked? We must in learn to interrogate. You know why I love Great Rufai? Great Rufai, you always emphasize that we must, the process, the, 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 the selection process well, in selecting our leadership selection. is faulty. Uh, Prince Odigi, let, let, let's talk about that selection process because, yes, uh, you know, we've looked at a lot of personality politics in our conversation today. Uh, no focus on any issue-based politics. Are you telling me that uh, this coming election is going to be based on a popularity contest of which candidate will be able to, uh, to soak up the members of uh, other parties into their own structures? I believe Philip Shaibu has also uh, collapsed his structures to the APC now as well as Honorable Ibeide Hama. So, uh, you know, we're not seeing the, the issues. Ogbedi Ama told me yesterday he's not leaving APC PDP. He told me yesterday personally that he's not the campaign from PDP. As at today, as at yesterday, you know, we don't know what his plans are. But, you know, Edo is a, is a very sophisticated uh, state. Edo is, the, is, is an intellectual hub. Edo in diaspora, go and check out what Edo people are doing all over the world in their various fields of endeavor. Edo cannot afford anything less. There is no one political leader that can sway the people to, to, promote, to, promote, to promote mediocrity in Edo state. It's not possible. You are going to see the votes as we go to Gudalo go 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 we pull across the three senatorial district because of his pedigree, what he has achieved, his person, his capacity, his, 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 his experience. And what he's telling the people, he has been able to enjoy himself to the people. Okay. So whether no political leader can okay. go anywhere. When obedient came, the governor of Edo State lost his, his word. He could not win it for PDP because the people felt it's time for the Southeast to produce the president. Okay. Can, can it's I going to be like that in this election. Can the obedience have collapsed already. They are waiting for what to be we do. Okay, can I ask you a question? So, do you know maybe APC yes, National... Yes, please, Great is already aligning with the Aswe Godalu tickets. Are some of your members from the uh, group uh, already uh, talking to people like yes. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to leave it for Aswe Godalu? Do you know maybe that conversation is on? I, I, I don't know. I cannot say. But the Tinubu I know wants a better Nigeria and so of do you, course do you, wants a do better Edo. Do you a think Tinubu will support Aswe Godalu? Uh, 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 the great Rufai, I will answer you in this order. The Tinubu I know is interested in a better Nigeria. And what we translate to a better Nigeria is a better Edo, a better Ogun, a better Anambra, a better Zamfara, a better Rivers is what we eventually translate into a better Nigeria. And Tinubu is a sharp man. He would have since identified Okwebolo's gross incompetence. And Tinubu, as a corporate Nigerian, who has been around for a long time, would have also investigated Aswe Gudalo's antecedent and would also know what an Aswe Gudalo can bring to the Federal Executive Council that will enhance his government. Okay. Aswe Gudalo is more interested in a better Nigeria than partisan politics okay. now. How many okay. votes did APC give Aswe Gudalo? Okay. Could we get 25% okay. to the okay. before now? So, so the Why point... should he want to destroy his name 
by to come to use federal money to the do okay. when the do could not give him twenty five percent in the first place. So the question, I'm, the question I'm asking is obviously President Tinubu knows the antecedents yes. of Aswe Godalo because they are both Lagos boys. Truth has to be said. Do yes. you have you people in this integrity group now relayed the message to uh, President Tinubu that this is who we want? And is Adams of Shomole we are going also to do, supporting are, Aswe Godalo? Yes. By your own estimation, because now that you know what you know, no, now as, you as, Adam Sushomole is a party man. Is Adam Sushomole is a party man? He's our leader. You know, nobody would expect Adam Sushomole to come out and say, "No, I know Pemulu is not competent." But, I but is it is, is, is it supporting Aswe covertly? Do you think he's supporting Aswe covertly? I I I I know that Adam Sushomole being a governor and a performing senator who is making us proud in Senate. He will, will, in his heart of hearts, he knows what's best for Edo. In his heart, in his conscience. You know, this partisan politics is what is ruining our democracy. It's ruining our ability to deliver the best to the people. When you see a mediocre being given tickets as governor, and you say in the name of partisan politics, a uh, party is supreme, and you go and promote mediocracy, Prince, you are the problem of Nigeria. Prince, we Prince. cannot solve the problem uh, by Prince continually Odigio. promoting mediocracy over meritocracy. Prince Odigio. Dr. Rufai, yes. Dr. Abati. Uh, please, you know, no name calling, please. You can make your point without labeling Thank people. You. But I, I wanted to ask you, Thank has you. it occurred to you, you are in APC uh, with, along with other members of the integrity yes. uh, group in the APC at those days. Group. Now campaigning yes. for a PDP gubernatorial candidate. Now you are in fact uh, involved in the anti-party activities. We are not started. Activities. We are not started. We are, we are going to... You are campaigning already. You are Come already. again, sir. I say you are eh, campaigning. Eh, eh, we, we are going to first That's do anti -party. an open letter to the president. Okay. Well, we are going to do an open letter to the president. Why we are disassociating ourselves from the candidacy of Monday Opevolu in the in best interest of Edo people, in the best interest of Nigeria, and in the best interest of APC. If APC would ever have a chance in Edo, what we do today we determine how the people will view us. Okay. If APC loves okay. Edo people, okay. or APC just want to be partisan, okay. if APC is interested in the growth and development, infrastructural development of Edo, this election will determine it. Okay. And we are going to do an open letter to President Asiwaju well, very soon. It, it's not the open letter that is the issue. I mean, I assume that the APC as a political party has a party constitution. And there must be a section in that APC yes. constitution for anti-party activities, which will be beyond the, the writing of an open letter. When, when, Dr. Abati, when, when the present um, uh, minister of FCT declared support for Asiwaju based on principles. What happened? We are declaring support for Aswe Godalo based on principles, <coughs> based on fundamental principles. And we are ready to align it on that open letter to the president. And if they want to expel us or suspend us from the party, so be it. That will not stop us from supporting the, the renewed hope of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. It won't change anything. But I am more Edo and first an Edo man, an Issa man, the, 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 the intellectual hub of Edo, from Edo Central, Edo, before APC, I'm more interested in the well-being of Edo people than any partisan politics. This is not time where, the, see, Nigeria is going through a lot. We cannot afford to, to hand over Edo into the hands of incompetent people. Great to fire interrogate the antecedent of our candidate. Do an investigative journalism work. Check him out. Check Aswe Godalo out. Check Ulumide Akpata out. And you will see that APC has made a huge error. Can, can error. I, can, can I ask you something? Error. Can I ask you something? So, so when is the mobilization yes, going to start? Fire. When is uh, the Edo State Government going to start the mobilization for you people based on this Aswe uh, Mantra that no, no, no. We have now. nothing to do with Edo State Government. We have nothing to do with Edo State Government. We just want the best for Edo people. So, is it? We I, appreciate. I, can, can I ask you? Have you met with? Have you, have you met with Aswe Godalo? 
I've not met with him on these issues. Uh, so when are, you go, when are you going to meet? When are you going to meet with him on this? Because I'm sure after this interview now, Aswe is probably going to call you to the table. So wh when are you going to meet with him concerning these issues? I cannot meet him alone. We'll meet him as a group. And so when is the in group going to meet him? Because you see, what you have done is this open declaration for Aswe as against your party's candidate APC, which is well within your right to be able to do. But I'm just asking, when is the mobilization going to start? Because it has started in full swing already. Um, I will tell you, we are supposed to have, we are having the inauguration of the campaign council today by three o'clock. Okay, you know, as some of the people on that as campaign, as campaign council, council has resigned from is it, the. Is it as no, as no, Okwebulu APC campaign council inauguration. Okay. No, APC campaign council. Okay. Inauguration is for three o'clock today. Okay. You know, some of the people on that campaign council list has uh, since resigned from APC, and we are going to see more resignation. There's some of us that said we belong to the integrity group that uh, we are going to speak out. So, so are you still going to attend hear us loud and clear? No, so are you still going to attend the inauguration of Pueblo's campaign council? After saying all of this, you are saying on Of TV? course not. Of course not. You are not going to attend attending it. I'm telling it. Uh, I mean, I'm, no, I will not. I'm a deputy director somewhere. I don't know where they wrote my name in the campaign council. So officially, I not can I ask you a question? I'm telling me of, of, Officially on television, yes. do you resign from anything they've pursued you down for the Pueblo campaign council? Absolutely, absolutely. So officially, you I'm have resigned, resigned from the not from APC. I'm an APC member, from, but from the Pueblo Council. Council, yes. Officially, you've resigned on television. Okay. Yes, I think I resigned. I think of DJ, we have yes, already more or less covered the ground. We know where you stand. So if tomorrow you leave the uh, APC, yes. we will not be surprised. Uh, but thank you very much for joining us. We'll take a I short. I won't leave the APC. I said they suspend me or expel me. Okay. okay. I will support Asiwaju to the end so of his tenure and vote for him again in 2020. So much for party loyalty.